What's going on YouTube? Um, this is your boy Mel here. I'm about to show you guys how to route the HTC Evo Shift. If you're like me, just purchased this phone not too long ago and you're wanting to learn how to shift it, or root it, excuse me. Um, I'm going to teach you how to temp root it. I'm not going to teach you how to do a perm root uh, simply because I don't really like the perm root quite yet because all the ROMs are not really stable yet so there's really no point in actually rooting the phone unless you're wanting to do like wireless tether or you're trying to get some some applications that require root access um, and for that purposes for those purposes only you could definitely use the temp root and well let's begin first of all let me tell you I am in no way shape or form responsible for what you do to your phone um, I don't want you guys messaging me or leaving comments saying you bricked your phone or something like that. Keep in mind you are doing this at your own risk. Um, again, we are going to temp root the HTC Evo Shift. Just to show you that I am rooting the Shift, HTC Evo Shift. Pretty swift little phone. Um, well, let's begin. The first thing you're going to want to do, first and foremost, is you are going to want to go into your settings. Okay, you're going to want to find applications. And you're going to want to make sure unknown sources is checked. Now, unknown sources is checked simply so that way if you um, decide you want to download any third-party apps without having to buy apps through the uh, market, that's what that's checked for. Then you're going to want to go down here to development. And in development, you're going to see where it says USB debugging. You are going to want to have that checked. Mine's already checked. Um, once you've got that done, you can go back to your, your home screen. Um, secondly, let's do this, is you are going to want to go to your internet browser on your, on your computer you are going to want to download this visionary plus um, a link in the description will take you to this upload at mediafire you're going to upload it you're going to save it oh, give me one second I've already got it on here, but I want to do everything fresh with you guys so that way you guys know exactly what's going on. Okay, let's clear this. All right, let me let me go ahead and refresh the page so the link comes back. Um, I am not the developer for this. Let me just get that out the way. Um, this is just me showing you guys how to do this. Um, thanks to the developers that did come up with this, however, I am not them. Okay, here we go. You can do that. You're going to open location. And it's going to bring you to wherever you have your computer set up for it to to save your downloads at. Um, I suggest you take it out of there, put it on your desktop. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You can close that out, and there you have it on your desktop. Now, you are going to want to connect your phone to the computer. Give me one second, put the camera down. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to put your phone on disk, on disk drive. Once you do that, you should get a pop-up on your computer, like so. Um, I am running Windows XP. If you're running Vista or Windows 7, it's going to scan before it opens this up. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing, though. Um, what you're going to want to do is you are going to take that visionary pack that you downloaded. You are going to put it in the root of your phone. Um, I don't normally put them in the root of my phone. I usually put it in my I usually put them into my downloads Ooh. and that's simply because this is where all my apps are already you can see I've already got this um, I guess 
it says com underscore Medaco once you download it. I'm assuming Medaco is the person who came up with this. So big ups to them if that's them. Um, like I said, I'm not the person who developed this. But you are going to drag and drop it from your desktop into here. Um, I've already got it in my, this is your SD card if you didn't already know. Um, I've already got it, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. But then you can go ahead and close that out, and then you can unplug your phone. Well, let me unplug my phone now. Okay. Boom. Now that you have it unplugged, um, you are going to need to get one app from the App Store or from the app market. It's called Astro. If I haven't already said that, I apologize. Um, you don't need the paid version. You can get the free version. It's not a big deal. It does the same thing. And there it is. I've already got it installed, so that's why it gives me the option to open or install it. But because mine's already open, or mine's already installed, I'm going to open it. You would just click on install, and it would install on there, and of course you would unload it. Um, so I'm going to open it up. And once if you're not familiar with Astro, Astro goes into your files on your SD card. Um, you're able to access files on the phone as well. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to look for the pack where you downloaded. Uh, this is my downloads already, so and here it is. Let's click on it. It says Browse Files, Open Manager, and it gives me the option to uninstall or launch because I've already got it downloaded onto the phone. But you would click on install, it's gonna install it on the phone just like it would install a normal app. Now to show you guys that my phone is not rooted yet, um just go into Titanium Backup which is a rooted application. See it says I could not acquire the root privileges. This application will not work. Please verify that your ROM is rooted. Um, Okay, well, it's not rooted, so that's why I'm getting that message. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm going to go back home. Okay, now, after you've opened up Visionary inside your, your Astro and you've installed it, you are going to look for Visionary, and normally it should already take you into Visionary um, because I needed to show you that. I did not have a rooted phone yet. And then you're going to see, I'm going to give you some options to temp root your phone. You are going to click on temp root now. Temp root now. And there it goes. Rooting device. Please wait. Created by Paulo Brain. He's the developer on the rooting, I guess. Um, it does have the option in there to perm root. I do not suggest you press that. There are steps prior to doing, uh, prior, there are steps that you need to do prior to, to hitting that perm root. Um, that will be in another video. And there you go. It's, it brings you back up here and you should be rooted. Um, let's go back and we'll find out. Oh, it's it's not going to reboot um, because temp root means that it is a temporary root. Um, you can take the root off simply by turning the phone off. Um, if you want to go further step and uninstall the battery, that's fine. It will take the root off. Okay, now let's go back into Titanium Backup. It says acquiring root permit or super user permission. Bam, application info has been loaded to operating system. Okay, well that works. If you don't know what Titanium Backup is, Titanium Backup is a, a, I believe it's the best thing out there as far as when you install ROMs and things like that, you don't have to reinstall all your apps. Temp, uh, this will back up all your apps and it will, you will have to reinstall Titanium Backup, but once you reinstall Titanium Backup, um, it's going to look at your SD card and it's going to automatically bring your files back once you click the option. Oh, I'm getting a text message. Let's close that. That's the wife, guys. Um, wireless Tether. It is a rooted application. You need to be rooted to use this. Um, 
it's, it's a start tethering. Um, the following app is requesting super user access. Well, super user access, if you don't know what that is, that is when you are a super user giving your phone access because the phone is rooted. If your phone is not rooted, you will not be able to super root, or you will not be able to be a super user. Um, so we're going to allow it. And now it says that I am tethering. And like I said, wireless tether, you can go in the market, you're going to see it's going to tell you you do need to have a rooted phone. I'm going to show you that it's actually tethering as well. Let's go to my PC. Okay, let's see. Android tether. Connect. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm having technical issues with my PC right now. There we go. You can see my little thingamajiggy down here. It says Android ten Tether Wireless Network Connection Android Tether. There you go. You, or you have it, guys. You are rooted, temporarily rooted. Um, I'm going to stop it. It's going to ask for super user access again to stop it. Boom. There you go, guys. You are temporarily rooted again. Um, this is for educational purposes only. I am no way, shape, or form responsible for what you do to your phone. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you'd like. I'm new to YouTube as far as posting videos, but I am getting videos out there as fast as I can. Um, you guys have a nice day.